Hey everyone. Well, I'm coming on right now to figure this out. I have never done this before. We're going to do this together. But what I'm going to do, see, this doesn't work. It does not work. So I'm going to try to change the fuse on that and see if that's the problem. Um, now this other one over here, this one works. It's the, uh, it's where you plug in your 12 volt and see how that comes on. And it should work here just as well. You know, so you can charge things here too. But you see, there's no power. So I'm going to get down here. I already took off this panel. This panel right here. Um, it says fuses. <clears throat> which was down there. There they are. That's the fuses for um, radio... Um, cigarette lighter, I think power windows, just certain, certain things. So I'm going to get down there, pull the fuse and put another one in. It's supposed to be a 20 amp. And I see here that there is some extra ones here on the back of the panel, along with some little tweezers to pull them out and to reapply it. And it looks like for the cigarette lighter, it is number 13 and it is a 20 amp. And we do have some 20 amp up there, extras, so that's cool. So I'm gonna do that, and I will come back and let y'all know if it worked. If not, we'll have to take other measures. I'll be back. All right, let's see if I can get down in here and get that 20 amp. It should be the third one in. One, two, three. I don't even know how this thing works. Hmm this little thingy, um, this little thing here, how it works to pull it out. Okay, maybe I have an idea. <laughs> Let me just get that in there and try to pull it out. Wiggle a little bit. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let me get some little tweezers. Okay. Okay, I'll come back. I'm going to try these little tweezers because that little plastic thing right there wasn't working. So I'm going to come back in here. This the third one in. This one. Let me wiggle it. I don't want to be too... I don't want to break it. Okay, got it. Um... I have to check and see. I mean, I know there's a way of checking for if the fuse is bad or good. I'm not sure on that yet, but just to save time, I'm gonna replace it with one of these extras that are here. Okay, I got it out of there. So I'm gonna try to replace this in there. Let's see. I can do this because of the angle that I'm at I can't really and then I'm a big woman it's hard to get in there and see it's hard to get in there <laughs> it's hard for me to get down there so let me push it in if it's even in the right spot I don't know let's see let me be sure Okay, I've got it in there. Make sure all those are in there tight. Okay, so now let me just come up here and see if that's what the problem was. Voila! And it is fixed. Woohoo! You know, these days everybody having portable, I mean, um, you know, wireless devices, USB devices, you have to charge. You need those two ports for sure, you know. <laughs> so that's cool. That's fixed. Now, I'm going to change the fuse for the radio and see why it doesn't come on at all. And when it, if that's the problem there too, the fuse, then I also have a USB port here that I can charge my phone or another USB device on. So, now for that. <laughs> 